I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. I haven't filmed a video this year at all, so Happy New Year. I hope you had a great New Year's Eve and also by the time this video is up, Happy New Year again. I wish you a super, super prosperous year of the rabbits. We are currently in Chinatown. There's like heaps of different decorations up, which I'll show you in just a sec, but I want to take this opportunity to wish you all the things like there are these sayings in, in Chinese, like four letter sayings. I probably can get 10. Like, oh, so something else here. So, Gong Hei Fa Chai, San Hei Kin Hong, Lok Ma Zing San, Ban Si Yu Yi, Lin Lin Yao Yu, Gao Fei Ok Yun, Ho Yim Shun Bo for the kids, Ting Chun Sang Ju, San Yi Hing Long, Chut Ya Ping On. Bow bow go sing. That's eleven. I can go. I can keep going. But anyway, yes. I wish you health, and I wish you a super, super prosperous year. Um, we're in Chinatown because we're about to check out a hot pot place that I've seen like so many photos and videos, but I've actually never been to. So yeah, I'm gonna take my parents along with me. The awesome thing about all of these um, characters is there's actually the word rabbit inside all of it. So but means wealth. And then here, you can see the word rabbit. I don't know if you The bowls are in the bowl. The bowls are in the bowl. We are about to get hot pot. Today is actually super hot. Hopefully, they have really good aircon in there. Otherwise, there is a lot of aircon here, which is fantastic there isn't that many people i guess like not many people are opting for hot pot on a weekday for lunch which is perfect because i can be like mom and dad i booked this entire place just for you so we've got like a little apron to wear and i've ordered a good amount of food for three people so essentially you can choose to have like a big pot um, which is like $33 or $34 for a big pot or you can have your own individual pots um, which is like $14 so it comes to like you pay like $10 extra but then you get your own pots my mom's got the mushroom broth it has my dad and I we both got the tomato broth because we love tomatoes and in terms of like things that we've ordered, we've got the meat barbie because I feel like that is like a must. We've got a bunch of vegetables, beef balls, knife cut noodles, fish, dumplings, and then this like shrimp with roe kind of thing where you like put it into your own pot. So yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, and we also get to get our own sauce. And the sauce bar, it looks, it looks quite extensive. This is your recommendation. They This is the classic. That's what I always get. Water or the vampires? Okay, so I see people like when they grab the meat, they go like this. So I'm gonna try it. So good, man. I flicked it over onto the window. I'm gonna have to clean that up. That's it. That's it. Got But regardless. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited. I'm so excited to try this. I'm so hungry. Mmm. The tomato broth is very, very young full of tomato flavor. The meats with the sauce concoction that I've made has garlic, it has spring onions, coriander, sesame oil, sesame paste. I can eat an entire bowl of rice with that. Mm. <laughs> got 
my little fish fillets. We also have these like robot waiters that know exactly where to stop. It's quite impressive. The fish is quite good. Okay, don't get me wrong, the beef is tasty. It's delicious. But it's sliced so thin. I can finish all of this by myself and then order a second one just by myself. I think essentially you're paying for like the theatrics of having a barbie. All right, my mum tried the prawn and roe paste and she said it was just okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She said it wasn't bouncy enough. See, the thing is like with hot pot, usually you can't go wrong with some sort of meat. Usually I go for beef. Some people like lamb. I don't really like lamb because it gets a bit gamey. Fish is optional. My parents like fish, hence why we ordered it. I feel like vegetables is always a necessity because it soaks up that flavor of your hot pot broth. So the best veggies that I like is always like wombok or napa cabbage. Radish is great with hot pot. It's like really up to you. And then you also always need some sort of balls, like fish balls or beef balls or cuttlefish balls. Um, sometimes people have the cheesy sausage, which we didn't get this time. We also got some dumplings. These dumplings are We've got some tiny dumplings and you always need some sort of carbs, either rice with hot pot or noodles, like udon. We've got some knife cut noodles. And yeah, this is my beef balls. I've talked long enough that I think this has cooled down a little bit. I find this a little bit more bouncy than the, the prawn and roe. I think the main benefit of coming out to hot pot as opposed to doing it at home is you get the option to have individual pots, which I think is great. You don't have to worry about cleaning up. That's the best part. But you do absolutely pay a premium for not having the hassle. Time to try the dumplings. I mean, it grew a little bit in size, just a little bit but not substantial. So this is just a pork dumpling. The dumplings are okay. Okay, though. Has he always swap out for something else instead of dumplings? These knife cut noodles are always the noodles that I get when I go get malata. Super chewy, it's thick enough to attach any of the condiments or any of the flavors of the soup. And it goes super well with this little sauce concoction that I have. It's like garlicky sesame oil or soy sauce. I think like just a touch of black vinegar as well would make it even more amazing. <laughs> Okay, so for dessert tonight, we're having tong yun. And with tong, you always make this soup, which is like a two ingredient soup. It's super simple. You just add ginger and you add sugar, but not just any sugar we eat. Brown slab candy is what we're adding. So the day before Chinese New Year, I went to Eastwood, which was rookie era because um, there were so many people there. I was stuck in the car park for like 20 minutes. And anyway, we got some tong yun. I got the peanut tong yun and this is not the brand that I've ever actually bought, but this was the only one left. So we've got this sesame one, and I'm gonna try it now to see what it's like. Okay, this is the sesame one, massive. It's not bad, it's pretty good actually. And that is it for the first video of 2023. I forced myself to take a little bit of a break from YouTube at the beginning of this year. This was 
the longest breakup I've had since I first started in 2019. And towards the end, I was really starting to miss it. So I'm so glad to be back. I mean, I've been posting on Instagram and I've also been posting on YouTube shorts and TikTok, but long form content is always gonna be my favorite. So these vlogs will be coming to you every single week. I'm super excited about this year. I've got a lot planned for 2023 and I can't wait to take you guys along on this journey. So yeah, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. Have an amazing rest of the day. Have an amazing week. Happy New Year again. And I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. We managed to finish absolutely everything between the three of us. I'll put in my description exactly what we ordered, so you know there was three of us and I'm comfortably full. Like I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm so full and I'm stuffed. I need to roll out of the, the restaurant. I'm just like, hmm, that was enough.